Welcome to Green Building Research Institute's course on building commissioning. Today's speaker is Kimberly Dickey. This course discusses the role of building commissioning in green building design, construction, and operation. We will identify and discuss lead requirements for building commissioning for building design and construction. The course outlines the roles and responsibilities of various project stakeholders involved in building commissioning. The course places emphasis on steps and procedures needed to be followed in the commissioning process. The course will also present a lead case study demonstrating successful commissioning of a lead project. The Building Commissioning Association describes building commissioning as a quality-based process with documented confirmation that building systems are planned, designed, installed, tested, operated, and maintained in compliance with the owner's project requirements. It is a quality assurance, quality control process ensuring that the building systems meet the owner's project requirements. The commissioning process makes sure that the building components are working correctly and that the plans are implemented with the greatest efficiency. ASHRAE's definition of commissioning is a quality-oriented process for achieving, verifying, and documenting that the performance of facilities, systems, and assemblies meets defined objectives and criteria. Key elements of building commissioning include design intent, operating sequences, verifying system installation, and performance. Apart from quality assurance and quality control, Commissioning also accomplishes higher energy efficiency, environmental health, and occupant safety, and improves indoor air quality. A properly planned commissioning process delivers preventative and predictive maintenance plans, tailored operating manuals, and training procedures for building management staff and users to follow. The feedback provided by a commissioning agent ensures a smoother construction process, fewer change orders, and avoided litigation, reduced operation and maintenance costs, lower energy costs due to energy efficiency, and satisfied building occupants and tenants due to better indoor environmental quality. Over the last decade, the landscape for commissioning services has changed dramatically. There's a lot of demand for new and existing building commissioning. Some of the drivers for this change include Owners desire to be more green, awareness of green building rating systems, energy efficiency tax incentives, etc. With all of the positive drivers, it is important to realize that building commissioning is still not a standard practice in building industry. Okay, so now we're going to move into the next section of today's webinar. So far, we've just kind of been talking about the commissioning process a little bit on, you know, on a surface level. We're going to now kind of go a little bit deeper into the actual uh, tasks and responsibilities um, of the commissioning agent and um, the commissioning team throughout the commissioning process. So we'll revisit some of the phases that we talked about earlier. Um, discussing these tasks and responsibilities in a little more detail. detail. Um, in addition to the performance needs of facilities, another factor driving demand for commissioning is the desire to obtain green building certifications such as USGBC LEED and Green Building Initiatives Green Globes program. As all of us are aware of, these rating systems have been developed to improve energy efficiency and environmental performance in buildings. Commissioning is a prerequisite for LEED certification and a requirement in green globes. LEED, BDNC, O&M, and IDNC address the design, operation, commissioning, and monitoring aspect of energy usage and performance. We shall look into LEED commissioning requirements in this section.